Alright, so hey guys, what's going on? This is Let's Rock for the Wind coming to you with another tutorial. Today we are learning how to play 3.14 by the Bloodhound Gang. It is a hysterical song. It's a work of art, really. Um, so, let's get started. First off, you're going to watch me play this, and then you're going to learn for yourself the specific notes and power chords that you're going to learn how to play. Oh, spoiler alert, there's power chords. Okay, so, um, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, and then you'll play for yourself, and you'll be amazed, and you'll show your parents, and they'll be like, you listen to that kind of music? That is garbage. And then you're going to be like, but it's hilarious. Uh, and, uh, yeah, a lot of controversy. But, hey, you could show your friends, and I'm sure your friends would listen to it if you listen to it. Yeah. All right, so check this out. <laughs> chorus comes and then you're like and then the high guitar too comes in with the high pitch part again from the beginning just like that and while you're while he's playing that you're going to be playing the same thing from the intro Yeah, so just like that. And that's basically the whole song. Yeah, including the end, you'd still be playing. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put your ring, to make this easier, you're going to put your ring finger on the B string of the 7th fret, and you're going to put your middle finger down on the... <laughs> Didn't mean to make that voice. Uh, middle finger down on the seventh fret of the G string. You're gonna go back and forth. So seventh fret on the G, seventh fret on the B. Go back and forth just like that. B then G, B then G, B G's. Can I say by the way I use my walk and walls man? Okay, so and then you're going to go up to the fifth fret of the B. And then you're going to go to 6th fret of the G, and then 7th fret of the D. And then back to the 5th fret of the B. So, just like that. Sorry if I'm going at a fast pace. I attempted this many times before, but I've done a lousy time teaching. So, yeah. Because I would forget to teach things, and then I'd be in the middle of the thing teaching a high pitch part. It's just, it's a long story. Long story short, it was bad video quality. How about that? How about that? Okay, so, um, yeah, here, so, uh, yeah, and then, uh, there's another part after that, isn't there? Yeah. So you're gonna play the same thing with the two seventh frets, G and B, and you're gonna play that back and forth, B, G, B, G, and then you're gonna go to the fifth fret, and then you go to the seventh fret, on the B string, still on the B string, uh, eighth fret, and then fifth fret again. And then, uh, I'm just gonna skip to the part where it goes. You go, you play the same thing as before, the first part. Just like that. But instead of going back to going to go to the 7th fret of the B, and you're going to play that a couple times, and then you're going to uh, go to the 10th fret and play that a couple times. Yeah, so, all together. Whoops, that's on the 9th fret. A little high. Uh, yeah. Now for the power chords. Very easy, very simple. You're going to listen and you're going to learn. Watch this. Okay, so you're going to go on the A string of the fifth fret and you're going to uh, play that three times. 
and then you're going to go up to the uh, second fret of the E string. You're going to play that one time. And you're going to slide down to the fifth fret of the E string. You're going to play that three times. So. And then you're going to go to the fourth fret of the A, and you're going to play that one time. And then you're going to go up to the second fret of the A, and you're going to play that three times. And then you're going to go back to the second fret of the E, and then you're going to play that once. And then you're going to go back down to the fifth fret of the A or the E, and you're going to play that uh, three times. So. Just like that. Okay. Now, next for the chorus. The chorus part. Oh, yes. Starts off on the 7th fret of the A, and you're going to play that today. Yes, so Ray. Oh, yeah. Epe, epe, Ray. Um, going to play that like four times. And then you're going to go to the 5th fret of the E. You're going to play that four times. And you're going to go to the 2nd fret of the A. You're going to play that four times. And you're going to go back to the fifth fret of the E. And you're going to play that four times. And then after he gets to the part where he goes, Calvin Klein Condo, South Carolina. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it's north or south. I haven't heard the song in a while. Uh, but, um, yeah, and then, it go, then the guitar two comes in and he's all like, Yo, man, I play the intro like a boss. And you're like, man, I play the intro like a boss too, but I play what comes after that part. And you're like, you play the basically the same exact thing from the intro. And you've already learned this, so just watch and uh, see. Okay, yeah, and you play that while he's playing the high pitch part like. And then, uh, and, uh, yeah, and you basically play that same style throughout the whole song. Yeah, so anyways, this is Let's Rock for the Wind. This is officially seven-minute video, and I am officially signing off.